let's say we have some text here that we want to cite that I have paraphrased. Microsoft Word gives us options to do this quickly um, and pretty simply, simply by going to the reference tab at the top of the page. You'll see here where it says style. This opens a drop down menu that lists many of the more popular versions of citation and formatting. We obviously want APA 6 edition. And go to click insert, insert citation and add a new source. Now types of source gives you a drop down list of different types of sources. Word of caution, this list is not comprehensive um, and it might not cover all of the forms of citation you want to use. For this citation, we're going to use a book, so we click that, and we, off, we put in the author's name, Reagan Kelly. Now if you look down here, you'll see that it's giving you examples of the type of information that you could put in this page, and it will do that for each field. You can also edit this information if you want to add anything in, but we're okay here. So let's add our title, which is Out Fox and Fear, Folk Tales from Around the World our year publication, the city, and then we're going to add our publisher information, which is www, www Norton and Company. Now if we click this box, we have a whole bunch of other fields we could fill in, but really all we need is this information here, so we're going to hit OK. It automatically puts in the citation in the APA 6 format that we need. Now let's say we want to add a direct quote to this. We go back to insert citation and we're going to add a new source once we put our quoted information in. So here's the information that we want to quote and we want to put our citation at the end of the quote. So we can go back up to insert citation. If this was by Reagan we could automatically click this and she would go in there but this is a new source. Um, this time we're going to do an article and a periodical, and we're going to put in our author name, which is Finley David, and the title of our article, which is Dare to be Scared, our periodical title, the year of publication, the month, the day, and the number of pages. This was 8 through 13. And we're going to click OK. Now it automatically puts this in the proper form. However, this is a direct quote, which means we need page numbers, and it's not giving us that. So how do we add them? So simply click on your citation, click on the little arrow button here, you'll get a drop-down menu, and click Edit Citation, and you can add the page number. We'll say page number 10. And that is how you enter citations in Microsoft Word. Now let's say you want to do your reference list. Simply go to the page that you want your reference, your reference list to appear on, go back to the References tab, click on the Bibliography drop-down. Now for APA 6, we want a Works Cited page. Clicking on that will automatically put in our two references, or as many references as you have, in the proper order in the proper format. You can also edit this page, so we want it to say reference list instead of works cited, either one is fine. Um, we could change this to be centered and not bold and black text. Um, we could add references if we wanted to. We could update this in any way we really feel need, we, any way we feel we need to. Um, you can also change the type of work it is. We could change it back to bibliography. We're going to change it back to Works Cited. So that is how you set up your Works Cited page in Microsoft Word, as well as how you can easily put in your citations.